So I've just watched George from Barley and Hops Brewing making an insulation jacket for one of his stills. So yeah, that spurred me on to have a go myself. Now the company that make my still, they actually sell uh, an insulation jacket. But that's too easy, I hear you cry. That's far too easy, isn't it? To buy one, so I'm gonna have a go at making one of my own. So this is what my kettle looks like and I've just been upstairs and found myself an old towel that seems to be pretty much the right dimensions to use. So this is pretty crude but it's going to give me a bit of a starting block. I've folded the towel in half, filled it with some cotton sheet and some wadding as well and then just sewn it together. So I also want to do this, the lid, I need to cover this so I've been upstairs and found myself with a matching hand towel and luckily enough, look at this, the size is pretty much right to um, give myself enough room to make a cover for this as well. So like I say, this is pretty crude, uh, but here's a photo of obviously the left hand side, the insulated one, and the right hand picture there is the non-insulated one. So on to the results. Now there's obviously loads of variables intertwined with this kind of uh, experiment, but I just wanted to give myself a bit of an idea of uh, what was going on and if there was an advantage with this. So I started with 15 litres of water and the temperature of that water was uh, 11 Celsius. So with the first run of the insulated kettle, the time there is in minutes, it's on the left hand column, and the right hand column is the temperature of the water vapour. That's not the actual temperature of the water itself, I use the temperature probe that's in the kettle lid. So later on in the day, once everything had cooled down, obviously replace the water with another 15 litres, check the temperature again, started off pretty much 11 degrees, and then the uh, result was there. For the uninsulated one, and then the vapour temperature there as well, and surprisingly enough, it actually outstripped the insulated column there, all the way down through the temperature range, and was actually a minute quicker to get to uh, boiling point. So that was an interesting result. Um, I know the quantities of water that I'm heating are quite small. I know the surface area I'm trying to insulate is pretty small also, and the time scale as well is also relatively short. But I was expecting the insulated to do at least something. So feeling slightly disappointed at this stage, obviously, I um, decided to do test two on day two. And same kind of procedure again with the quantities and the temperatures, but this time doing uh, the non-insulated test first. And did the same thing again, let it all cool down. Later on in the day, I put in the fresh water at the same temperature and redid the test again. And again, the second results there, as you can see, weren't anything to get too excited about. Um, overall, the performance seemed to be on par with each other. So there's yet another inconclusive and slightly semi-pointless video from myself. Um, the comparisons between the two showed no initial peaks or gains from uh, the heat up time um, or getting to a boiling temperature. Um, so yeah, it was, I think there's too many variables involved with something like this. The um, it's a it's a marathon, not really a sprint. Some when you're distilling, so I think if I was to leave that jacket on over the period of hours and hours of when I'm distilling, it probably would reap some rewards, but minimal gains to be honest. Um, I might get around to ordering the one from the uh, supplier just to see as a comparison if there's any difference. Um, but my insulation jacket was. Uh, filled with some wadding, some uh, cotton sheets that were folded up, and also some layers of tin foil as well. So there was a good barrier there, it was quite thick. And uh, even after 40 odd minutes of heat up time, 
the outside temperature of it was uh, negligible. It really, um, really was doing its thing of containing the heat and probably absorbing some of the heat as well. Um, so yeah, not the best video, obviously, um, but I've got it now and I probably will use it when I do um, a long run. So there you go. Sorry about that. And um, if you like the hobby of distilling, hmm, keep on shining. Thank you.